Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to find time in compound interest problem. We have already done a few questions on compound interest. You can check it out in my compound interest playlist. So here we have a question. In what time will rupees 15,625 amount to rupees 17,576 at 4% per annum compound interest? So first of all we will write what is given in the question. So given is amount A is rupees 17,576. Next is the principal amount which is P is equal to rupees 15,625. Also rate of interest is 4% per annum annum means yearly and we have to find time period formula for finding the amount so amount is equal to principal times 1 plus r divided by 100 raised to power t where t is the time period which we are going to find in this question let us put the given values in the formula so amount is 17576 Principal is 15,625 times 1 plus R is 4% divided by 100 raised to power T. By further calculation, we will bring this 15,625 to the left. So, it will be in the denominator 17,576 divided by 15,625 is equal to 1 plus 4 over 100 will be 1 divided by 25 raised to power t. So now we have on the left hand side 17,576 divided by 15,625 is equal to 1 plus 1 by 25 so the LCM will be 25 this will be 25 plus 1 whole raised to power t. So this comes out to be 26 over 25 whole raised to power t and this is 17,576 divided by 15,625. So there are two ways you can solve this further. First we will do it by the calculator and we will divide the numbers using the calculator. So the left hand side is 1.124864 1 is equal to 1.04 raised to power t. Here we can make use of the logarithms. So we will take log on both the sides. So log of 1.124864 is equal to log of 1.04 raised to power t. Log of 1.04 raised to power t will be t log 1.04. Zero 04 and this will be log of 1.124864. So now we can find log using the calculator. So log of 1.124864 is 0 0.05110017 is equal to t and log of 1.04 is 0 0.01703333 we need to find the value of t so we'll leave t here and we'll divide this number by the number on the right hand side so t will be i'm writing t on the left hand side 0 0.05110017 divided by 0. 170333 so t comes out to be 2.9999 which is equal to 3 so the value of t is 3 years by taking log on both sides we can find the value of t this type of expression using the calculator there is one more way where you can guess and check the value of t and find it out here we have used the property of log which equals log of m to the power t 
is equal to t log m and then we have solved using the calculator this is one way for finding the value of let us now learn the second way through which you can find the value of t so the second way to find the value of t is on the right hand side we have 26 by 25 raised to power t and on the left hand side we have an expression so we can check by multiplying 26 as many times to get this number so here we have 26 to the power cube is equal to 17576 and in the denominator it is 25 to the power cube most of the times the number on the right hand side will give us a clue and the number on the left hand side will be some power of the numbers on the right hand side. so in this way you can find the value of t this is 26 over 25 raised to power 3 is equal to 26 over 25 raised to power t so as bases are same so the powers will also be same so this implies that t is equal to 3 years whatever method you prefer you can use that method let us solve one more example the question says in what time will rupees 1000 amount to rupees 1331 at 10% per annum compounded annually so first of all we'll write the given things in the question so given is amount which is equal to rupees 1331 principal amount is rupees 1000 rate of interest is 10% per year and time we need to find out so now we'll write the formula for finding the amount amount is equal to p times 1 plus r divided by 100 raised to power t where t is the time period let us now put the values amount is 1331 principal amount is 1000 1 plus rate of interest is 10 percent so 10 divided by 100 raised to power t so now we will bring this 1000 to the left hand side so this will be 1331 divided by 1000 is equal to 1 plus 10 divided by 100 will be 1 by 10 raised to power t these zeros gets cancelled so this will be 1 by 10 so now we have 1331 divided by 1000 is equal to on the right hand side we will take LCM as 10 so this will be 10 plus 1 raised to power t which is equal to 10 plus 1 is 11 divided by 10 raised to power t and on the left hand side we have 1331 divided by 1000 so now here we are getting a clue that this 1000 is equal to 10 cube and let us check 1331 let us find 11 cube so 11 times 11 is 121 times 11 is 121 times and this will be 121 so this is 1331 you can write 1331 as 11 cube and 1000 as 10 cube and on the right hand side we have 11 by 10 raised to power t so this will be 11 by 10 raised to power 3 is equal to 11 by 10 raised to power t bases are same so exponents will be same so t will be equal to 3 years this is our final answer this we have done using the clue on the right hand side let us now do it with the help of logs now we have this expression we will divide the expressions using the calculator on the left hand side we will have 1.331 and on the right hand side we will have 1.1 raised to power t now we will take log on both sides so log 1.331 is equal to log 1.1 raised to power t so this will be t log 1.1 and this is log 1.331 now we'll find the logs log of 1.1 is 0.041392 and log of 1.331 is 0.124178 now to find the value of t 
we have to divide 0 0.1241780 by 0 0.041 so t will be equal to 0 0.1241780 divided by 0 0.041392 so t will be equal to 3.00004 t is equal to 3 years so in both the methods we are getting the same answer you can use any method you like you can cho choose the guess and check method or you can use the log method for finding the value of t i hope this video is helpful to you if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos thanks for watching